My name is Theo and today I wanted to take you with me on this journey to finally lose all sense of reality and turn myself into my favorite anime female character at this time, Kitagawa Marinsa. Let me just go and get rest and we are ready to go. Let me use the time waiting to tell you a little bit about my hair story. I never really did anything crazy with my hair in the past. I just kind of always had long hair growing up. Then, I think in 10th grade maybe, I decided to give it a big job and had a bob for a while. Which looked pretty fine but was difficult for me to handle. Since I wasn't really interested in doing anything much with it. Except for washing it and maybe using conditioner if I didn't forget about it. And let me tell you, the shorter the hair you have, the more effort you have to put in. After I went to get it recut at another hair salon, that kind of gave me a strange mullet with way too short bangs. I was very much through with having short hair. So I grew it out. Then I got bored with it and wanted to dye it darker. The thing is, I really love dark hair on girls. But on me, I kind of didn't like it. No reason to hide it, but I am very pale and have a bad case of dark circles, which I inherited from my dad. So the dark hair made me look sickly and I hated it. But going from long box dyed hair to my natural hair color and maybe a bit lighter was not really something any hairdresser wanted to do or that I could afford. So I decided to cut them short again and got kind of a longer bob. I felt better already and we decided to keep making the ends lighter to get to an ashy blonde. But then COVID hit and I let my hair grow out again. So yeah, this is the result of two years of growing them out with one trim about a year ago to get rid of the split ends. I can't really complain about my hair. Despite me doing almost nothing to maintain it, it looks pretty healthy and has no thin ends. But I also wanted a change. And since I spent the past 25 years being way too serious, it's time to do something spontaneous. So I'm back in the car and just about to head to the pissing place, it will take about 30 minutes I think, but I need to fill in some gas and get some money. I called the store before to ask if it was fine for me to film in there, but they won't let me take pictures or make a video in store. So I'm just gonna get back at you and tell you how it all went. I totally forgot to film after coming out of the store. I'm so sorry. Even though I wasn't allowed to film or make videos inside the store, I did want to make one afterwards, but yeah. 
The store owner Melanie was very nice and she said that I could film when I came in for my checkup in a couple of weeks so I will probably make a video update on the healing process and stuff and show you her fancy store then. But let me show you the piercings that I got. Let me just put my hair up for a minute. Obviously they are still pretty red and hurt a lot. And since the conch is closer to my head, if that makes any sense, I feel like the pain is going up a bit. With the yellow piercings I have, I never really had this kind of sensation, so that's new. The piercing part itself was actually pretty painful, especially the conch, which I didn't expect at all. But it only lasted about two seconds, so if you want to get a piercing yourself, this should not scare you. Sleeping tonight is gonna be a bit of a pain, but I managed to organize uh, one of these travel pillows, so... I know that Kitagawa-san has an industrial piercing, but this one just seems like a pain to heal, and, and I'm not sure if it would suit me personally, so I got those two instead. Obviously the healing jewelry is kind of plain, but after I healed up nice and clean, I will probably change the conch to a ring and get a shorter dumbbell for the rook. But that's kind of for the future. Well, and this is the final look. I wanted a nice balayage, which transitioned to my natural care color up in front instead of just having a harsh line like she has. My hairdresser also suggested to go for a more vibrant color at first because it will fade into the pastel color I liked and not get washed out as soon. Even though I should expect to re-dye my hair in a month or so, but he said that I could totally do it on my own and even showed me the colors he used, so I will probably do that and keep you updated. And even though it was my idea, I'm not sure about those front bits. I do feel like an e-girl, which is kind of cool, but I just don't know if they suit me. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. For now, I will rock the pink hairstyle as best as I can and take good care of the piercings. Let me also know in the comments what you think about this hair transformation, kind of. My mom at least was not amused <laughs> when I showed up with pink hair, but I guess she will get used to it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave a like for the algorithm to get me picked up faster. And I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.